Huh? Alien, you're back. Did you enjoy your holiday? Yes. No, I'm. I'm not have any holiday. Well, I heard you went to Hawaii. That's why you took a week off. No. <laughs> I, have a, I have an exam from school. Oh, so did you cheat? Uh, some subject. <laughs> <laughs> so you passed everything great then? No. <laughs> You cheated and you still didn't pass? You're in trouble. No, no, some some subject I can't cheat. <laughs> some subject you can't cheat. Don't cheat. Learn it. Hello, teacher. Unbelievable. Hello, cheese. How's cheese today? I'm okay. I'm okay. Are you sure? Yeah. You still have the same meme back there? Uh, but uh, today I have a very bad mark. You got a bad mark too. What's going on yeah. with you kids? My um my English mark is about five dot eight. Your English? Yeah. How? How 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 did that happen? Your English in state school is way easier than real English. <laughs> 5.8. That's not good. That's not good. Hmm. Is it grammar that you're having problems with? Yeah. Um. Uh, my listening is all uh, right, but listening the is all right. Writing and the um. um Read and write is not good. Reading was not good? Yeah. Really? Reading? Okay. Well, maybe you should try our... It's about reading the uh, the pra paragraph and do it. Do the answer uh, and, and do it. Okay. So not the reading. It's the comprehension. The understanding what you read. Understanding it to explain. Mm -hmm what you read now when you were reading is it what, what you didn't understand the sentences or were there was there a lot of vocabulary no, you didn't uh, understand i forgot to uh um what to do well like when you're reading did you understand the story that it that yeah you're... but i choose the wrong form of the Oh, of, of the sentence. Grammar. Okay. The grammar or the writing, the grammar. You chose the wrong form, sentence forms. Yeah. But the answer was right. But you said, I eat last week instead of I ate last week. Like the yeah. grammar, the grammar okay. was wrong. Okay. So grammar is something you need to practice. But you understood the vocabulary and you understood what you were reading. Yeah. Okay. But the grammar, okay. Well, that's what we have to do, right? As you are learning your English, you have to figure out what you're weak on. I have a question. Yes. Why is everybody with I don't, uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Alien was just here and he said I'd be right back and he disappeared. And I don't see Jason and Dudley and Gabby, no, Gabby, Benicia and Glory. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, Benicia cannot try the glass tonight. Mm hmm. So I don't know what's going on where everybody is. It's not Chris. It's not Christmas anymore, and it's not New Year's yet. So everybody should be here. Benicia knew we were having the class tonight. So I wonder why Benicia can't come. It's a holiday there for them. So I do understand that G Benicia and Glory, uh, Glory and Benicia might not come because they're already on holidays. They're, this week is like their Tet week in Indonesia because they celebrate Christmas. They have a lot of big celebrations there. They celebrate uh, Ramadan, which is the uh, Muslim holiday, which is a couple of weeks. And then they, they celebrate Christmas and New Year's, so they're off now for a couple of weeks. And then they also take a week off for Tet, like for the Chinese New Year. And a lot of other holidays. I remember when I worked there, it was like uh, a holiday. I think there's a holiday every month. 
I, don't, I think there's only one month or two months a year that they don't have some some kind of a holiday. Just holiday, 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 holidays, which is bad for business. <laughs> Great if you're a worker, but bad for business. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. You're back. Hmm. It's me. <laughs> Fix your camera. Turn it down a little bit. All I see is a big white wall. I don't think I can fix it. Well, of course you just turn it, you tilt it, you tilt it, tilt it down. Easy peasy. No, I just put my iPad on some iPad some on things what? so something so I don't think I can fix it. So you're leaning the iPad against something. Right? That's what you're doing? You're leaning the iPad against something. Leaning when you lean yeah. something on something. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. We'll try to lean it a little bit more. <laughs> make try to make it a little bit straighter because it's hard to see. I can't see your mouth. I can only see your forehead. And you got too much hair. So all I see is hair. <laughs> no, I I don't cut it. How did you do on I your will cut. How did you do in your English mm -hmm. tests? How did you do in your English tests? Um I'm just wrong for five sentences. Only wrong on five sentences. So what did you score? Yeah. No, I don't know the score because I oh. just finished this uh yesterday. Okay, so you don't know the score yet. You just did the test. All right. Okay. What, what are Is you listening to, Cheese? I yeah? hear well, I hear some noise. You're listening to something. What are you listening to? Ah. Oh. Oh. My, my dad is, uh, uh, what is, how, uh, is shouting about the, uh, my English monk. Your dad is shouting. That didn't sound like your dad. It sounded like a recording of a woman. <laughs> Glory, where are you listening? Hey. Glory. Where's that little glory? Glory swimming in the swimming pool. Is that what you doing? You swimming? No. What you doing? Why are you late? Christmas Eve in church. You were in church again today? Yeah. How many days a week? How many days a week do you go to church? Don't know. Don't know. Once, no. twice, three times, four times, five times a week? Or is it always different? Um, always different. Always different. And you were at church again today? Yeah. Wow, that's a lot of going to church. And you've missed so many classes because of church. And you missed a one-on-one -on -one because of church. And you're late tonight because of church. I want to talk to you at church. What? You can't talk to a church. Why? Just give me his name, her name, and give me the phone number. I don't know her core or his phone number. <laughs> All right. We got three people. Oh my God, this is terrible. We had six six students. Three of them aren't even here yet. No Benicia. Right. Benicia's not going to come tonight. So tonight, no Benicia. Jason's always a little bit late. But Dudley's not here, so I don't know what's going on with Dudley. And uh, I'm hoping Jason will join. Four is a nice number. But three is enough to run the class. So we're going to start our full cap challenge. Ah, and I love my new thumbnail. <laughs> uh, biology. No. Animal. Uh -huh. uh, well, it's not really just biology. It, it's a mixture. But I, I called it animal biology because I, I did add a few things to our vocab, of course. Different parts of different animals. Um, and there is a lot about, it's really about not, not, it's really could be called, uh, biology and habitats because we're going to read about where they live and how their bodies are different. You know, like how a camel's body is very different from a polar bear and how a uh, fish is very different from a polar bear and how a monkey who lives in the trees is very different than a. Uh, a mole who lives under the ground, right? I mean, they, they all have different body features for the place they live. So that's really what this is about. But it was too long to write all that in the, in the, in the thumbnail. So, uh, so I decided the most words we have 
besides their homes where they live and why they have the certain features and the colors they have, I thought we'd just go with biology. But it's not about inside the body biology. It's just, I guess I could have called it animal features. Maybe that was a better name. Yeah. So yeah. animal features was probably the best. Maybe I'll change the thumbnail before I post it on YouTube. Okay. So let's get started. Holy meatballs. And this is holy macaroni. Six. Holy macaroni is right. He's eating all my linguini with Luigi. Hmm. Oh, boom, 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 boom. cool lion. I really like this lion. <laughs> bra. I give you a bra. They're not a bra. That's a what? Uh, what? There's late Jason. Yeah. He did make it. Good, 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 good. Cut. Well, this one he's cutting. That's true, but he's not cutting here. Yeah. But this is Probably. a this is a very uh -oh. fancy, fancy knife. It's called a Swiss Army knife. I should have put the word in here, Swiss Army knife, because it has a screwdriver on it, it has a bottle opener on it, it has a knife on it, it has the scissors in it, it has, it has a saw yeah. in it. You can use what? it for so many things. It's called a Swiss Army knife. But of course, I couldn't get a picture. Well, I should tell. And knives in the kitchen. They're very, very helpful. It would be hard to cook and make food if you didn't have some knives, right? A good knife is probably one of the most... You can't cut without a knife. Yeah. So look at the sentence. A good knife is probably one of the most mm, things mm -hmm. you can have in the kitchen. Hey, Jason, how you doing? I'm very good. I'll get back to you after this vocab. What is it, Jason? Effect of helping you do or achieve something. Versatile. Versatile. That's true. It means you can do many things. Health. Good health. Useful. Very useful. And Jason gets the first point just like that. Unbelievable. Useful. <laughs> Wait, I need to go to the bathroom. Oh, my God. Don't tell me that. Ah, I have nightmares. <laughs> huh? Why are you about going to the bathroom? Oh, I know. But I, I just wish if you guys need to go to the, the little boys or the little girls room, just say, excuse me, I'll be right back, and then just mute your computer, and or I'll be back in a minute, and then just go do your thing, and then come back. It's easier that way. <laughs> I don't need to know what you're going to do. <laughs> useful. Yeah, being in shape is very useful. It helps you live a lot longer, and you don't get sick as much if you have a healthy lifestyle. Having knives in the kitchen is very useful. Having a Swiss Army knife is very useful too. You can fix things and you can cut things and you can they even have pliers on them. I have a Swiss Army, a kind of a Swiss Army knife here. I'm gonna show you because it's so cool. Hmm. Yeah. All right. I've had this thing now for oh, I don't know, maybe maybe 30 years. 30 years? No, yeah. 30 years. Oh, wow. it's, it's a beautiful. Oh. I got a room. You got a room. I was just going to say, you have a new room there. Is it in your house? Yes. So you have a new office. It's not a bedroom or it's your new bedroom? There is no dad and no mom here. <laughs> so it's just your new office. New yeah. office. That's unbelievable. You have an amazing space age desk that makes a chair that makes me jealous. And now you got your own private office. So you're going to sleep in there. You're going to put a bed in there or you're going to keep sleeping with mom and dad. <laughs> um, there's a bed. Oh, you got a bed in there. Oh, that's the same bed. You're in the same room. You just change things around. No, it's not the same room. It's not the same room. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, good for you. Good for you. All right. Back to my Leatherman is what it's called. The Leatherman. All right. So this is a real genuine leather. Real, real leather. That's why it's 30 years and it's still not falling apart. It's not fake. It's the real thing. And you can smell. I can just smell the leather on this. 
But this beautiful yeah. thing, this beautiful machine, it is incredible. I can open it up like this, and I have pliers. What? It's beautiful. You can work. I can fix things. It has wire cutters inside here. And then I can close it again if I want. Let me close it up again. And then I have, I have a beautiful stainless steel knife as well. And then I have, I have, oh, I have saws. Is that way go out? Yes. Thank you. I have a file. Filing down metals or anything. I have another knife, another saw on here. I have, what else do I have over there? Knife, saw. Da, da, da. And then inside, all right, you have the pliers, of course. But inside the sides, I have screwdrivers. Oh my God, Dudley finally showed up. Finally. And on the other side, I have, what else do I have in here? I have scissors in here. I have. Oh, this is at least 30 years old. I think I bought this when I was in my 20s. So, yeah, about 30 years old. Used to use it when I worked out in the oil fields. So, it is just an amazing tool, and, I, and it goes right on my belt. See? Put it right on my belt. And it's just such an amazing tool. I, I, I will never live without one of these. Anytime I go anywhere, I put it on my belt, and I have a toolkit. It's just awesome. Absolutely awesome stuff. All right, so enough about my awesome tools. Dudley, what the, what the, what? Almost 30 minutes late. What's going on over there? You chasing the horses again? <laughs> no. What happened? Was my, that com my computer is so lag laggy. Com computer was lag or dinner was late? No, my computer is <laughs> laggy. I think you were eating. No. No. <laughs> I eat an oh 5 a.m. Oh my god. Eating Jason's potatoes. Ah, see, Jason just said he gave you some potatoes. No. I no, don't he want... stole my. Oh, he stole your potatoes. Yes. I don't want to buy this potato. <laughs> you don't want to buy his potatoes, so you stole them? Oh. Yes. Oh my stole. god. Well, Jason, that's why you got to get a couple of big, big dogs. And then leave them out in the oh potato my. field. And then when Dudley tries to come and steal potatoes, the dogs will bite his beep beep. <laughs> All right. So useful, useful tools, things that are very helpful. Yeah. Effective and helping. Okay. So let's get back to our, I wanted to share. Yeah. You should, you should buy one like this when you get older. It's beautiful to have your car, your motorcycle breaks down, something in the house. You got all your tools in here. It's just, I use it all the time. Even on my computer to fix things. What? It's really cool. <laughs> what, 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 who, what, what, what? what the heck was that? What Daddy. in the world was that? Brother. Oh, brother. Yeah, yeah, I think so. No, uh, I splash it. I roll. I splash it. I ah, uh, you got it. Lashes. Lashes. That's right. Eyelashes. That is correct. You got mm -hmm. it, mister. I'll try it like this. We got four, mm -hmm. five, six. I can try it. This way. <laughs> All right. Eyelashes. Um, yeah, but that's pretty cool here how they're putting putting eyelashes in. Yeah, see how they're doing that? I wonder how they're gluing that onto the edge of the eye. That's really freaky. I don't know how they Very do that. Very freaky. Yeah, I don't know how they do that. Like, how can they get it to stay that doesn't fall out? Must be glue I don't, or something. I don't know either. I'm never going to do it anyway, so I don't care. You are, because you are not a girl. <laughs> yeah. You are not a woman. No, I'm not a woman. Thank God. I don't know what I'd have to do if I had to wear a dress. <laughs> no, 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 no. That would be hard to adjust. Very difficult. <laughs> Nothing against women, but I don't want to be one. Uh, what do animals have? Yeah. Dudley? Dudley? Fur. Dudley? Yeah. Fur. 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 Dudley Fur. on the board, Fur. too. Glory, you got to get on the board quick. You can't let the boys run away from this. They're going to beat up on you. It's three boys against one girl today, and you don't have Benicia to talk, 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 and distract yeah. them. <laughs> yes, Benicia. 
Benicia probably has something going on for Christmas because it's a she's on holidays and it's Christmas yeah. time there. Christmas, so. Evan. But someone else is missing. Who's missing? Oh, Steve, cheese didn't come back yet. Yeah. Cheese is still missing. Okay. I knew someone was missing. All right. Fur. Yeah. Animal fur, fur coats, fur. That's their winter coats. Holy meatball. How old is your little brother there, Debbie? Oh, yes. Oh. He's four years old now. Okay. How's his English? Really good? No. <laughs> he can speak. I'm just kidding. All right. What is that big lump on their backs? <coughs> Bones. I think it's a big part. <laughs> yeah, but there's a word for that, especially on the camel. Hump. Hump. Uh, yeah, who said that? Deadly. Deadly got hump? Okay. Yeah. Cool. It's called a hump. Now, with the hump here, I don't know. That's what I was just going to Google here just real quick to see if I could figure out. I don't think it is bone. Let's just see what we can get here. Why do camels have humps? Okay, no, it's it's part of their biology. The camel's hump is where the camel stores fat. Because the body will use fat when you go long periods without eating to get nutrients to, to give you uh, energy, to give you calories. Camels use the fat for energy. When and where food is hard to find, people who buy and sell camels even use the size of the camel's hump to determine how healthy the camel is. So, yeah, so people buying camels. So if you ever want to buy a camel, buy the camel with the biggest hump. Oh. <laughs> Not the smallest. It means it's a, it, they believe, I don't know if it's true, but it means that the camel is a healthiest, healthier. The bigger the bump, hump, the healthier the camel. That's what some people think. I... But, Wait. What? but, 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 um, yeah. I know, like, like I said, the other camel has a, a Bactrian camels have two humps on their back. Yeah. yeah. And same thing. They use it to store fat. Okay. So it's like a cartilage and fat and it's like a storage. Now over here, who can tell me what these big brown ones are? Um, you know what these guys are, these are really, these are very popular in, in, uh, well, not popular, but no, no. we have a lot of these in Canada. Yeah. <laughs> no, they're not bears, but bears do hunt these. I saw a video yesterday or the day Reindeer? before. Reindeers are much smaller. This is, this is the biggest of the ma This is the biggest of the deer family. These guys, the biggest ones. Yeah. They're, they're huge. That that hump on his back, which I don't think it's the same as a camel. I think that is part of his shoulder blades or muscles, but I'm not sure. I when I was working in in the forest with oil companies doing seismic surveying, I was walking down a trail one day and I was radioing my partner because we were making maps. We were doing all these lines in in the forest so we could have a satellite image. And all of a sudden, I looked over to my right and I went, "What the." And there was a big moose, like this guy here with the big antlers on him. See the antlers? And he was walking, like, right next to me. I could touch him. He was right here. And I never even heard him coming. Like, and I, he, he was right there. And I was like, holy meatballs. And I radioed my friend. I said, you got to see the size of this moose walking next to me on the trail. Yeah. Get back to work. Well, okay. <laughs> so I, I kept walking. And this big moose kept walking next to me. And I'd look at the moose, and he'd look at me, and I'd look away. And I'd look back at the moose, and he'd look at me. And then we'd keep walking. And he just kept walking with me for like maybe a whole, maybe a whole minute. Maybe a minute. He kept walking with me like a long ways. It's my minutes. Like maybe one minute. He kept walking side by side with me. He was just like, hmm, interesting thing. I wonder what that is. And But my point, I mean, it was really cool to, to have this huge moose walking next to me. Like, I could touch him. I didn't touch him, of course. I was scared. 
But that's how big he was. Or that's how close he was. He was right next to me. But his hump right here, this is how big these buggers are. You see this hump right here on his shoulder? My head was below the hump. I couldn't see over his back. His hump was higher than my head. Ah. Uh, so I, I would have stood ne next to I'll that. Run you. Next to that moose, I would have stood like right about here. This would have been my head. Little stick man, Trevor. Stick man, Trevor. <laughs> the house, the horse have hump. Horses don't have humps, no. They they just have a long neck and then they have like a flat back. People can sit on it really normal. But I, I would say I'm not that skinny. But height wise, the hump here, it was taller, higher than my head. That's how how big these moose are. They're the biggest of the deer family, and they are called moose. Moose. Yeah, my father had a moose license once. So when he was hunting, because he was a big hunter, every year he'd go catch a deer or an, uh, an elk or something. And one year he because really lucky to get the moose license that, that you don't have them as much for deer. Um, and he got a moose, and we had moose steak for th that winter. We had our freezer was full of all the moose steak, the meat, the beef. Oh my God! You want to talk about the most delicious steak in the world? I never tasted a steak better than a moose steak in my life. It was just amazing how good it was. It was good. It was really, really, really good. It was better, better than cow. <laughs> Much better. I really I don't like cow. You don't like beef? You don't like hamburgers? You don't like steak? You don't like beef? Uh, uh, no? Yeah? No? No. You don't like uh, milk? Wow. Milk? Oh, well, I like real milk. I don't like the milk they sell in the stores, but that's not milk. That's just sugared pop. <laughs> it's not real. I like milk. Yeah, well, everybody likes milk because it's a soda drink now. It's not real. Okay. Moose. That's what that big animal is. And that's a camel, of course. And that's why they have the hamels, the humps on their back. But the moose, I'm not sure. I would have to research that part. Ah, but yes, I told you about a video I saw two days ago. They were filming a wedding in the forest down by this river, like lake, and they were on the, the rocks oh. on the side, and they were filming and doing the photos. And I take you take this man to be your awful husband, and all of a sudden, <laughs> and all these crazy sounds are happening. So crazy that they had they stopped the ceremony and then they turned around to see what was going on. And then they put the cameras on this. Um, and what it was, was a bear, a big grizzly bear jumped on a moose and had him in the water. And he was, he got his dinner and it was, yeah. a, it was a brutal nice. video. I couldn't believe it, but yeah, he took down, a, oh. the bear took yeah. down like a big moose. It was unbelievable. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Lucky bear. Unbelievable. I was, I was, I couldn't hey. believe the video. No, nice. no one would believe it unless they saw the video, but I saw the video and it was amazing. Bears are powerful. They're the king of the forests. Oh my. Oh, they are. They're the king of the forest. No question. All right. Skin, skin, skin. skin. Yeah, skin. Was that alien first? I, th I heard two people say it. Yeah. Wow. Who, who says it? Who said it? Me, aliens. Dudley. Dudley, did you really say it first? I was. I, I heard I you, said. alien. The second time, for sure, it was you. But someone did say it before you. What? I don't know. I <laughs> just say skincare. You said skincare? <laughs> yeah. Skin, skin, what? <laughs> we'll have to get skincare for the banana. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You said skin care. Oh, I don't know who I care. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna give it to Dudley. Uh, to Alien then, because he clearly said skin. And, but I'm, I was pretty yeah. sure. Cheese, Jason, you guys didn't say skin before. No? no, it wasn't. It wasn't Glory. Glory, fix your camera. Come on, you can do better on this. 
I know you can do better on this. That's why I moved you up to this class because it was too easy for you in in interest six and five. You, you're you're young, but your English is good enough to compete here. All right, so yeah, it is like skincare, so but I don't see her put any cream on it. She's just kind of like playing with her skin, I guess. But that's skin, absolutely. Now the what the banana, right? Banana fruits, they have skins. What kind of skin is this down here? That's a skin uh, too. Uh, it's like yeah, uh, it's like a carpet. It's kind of like. Well, now they have used like animal furs for carpets, but in most places that's illegal now. But this is skin from an animal. This is what we make our motorcycle jackets okay. with, shoes, <coughs> belts, bags. It's really, really good. That's what this is. This, this really, really durable, strong, strong. Oh, I love the smell of it. It's so real. What is it? What is the material? It's not cotton. It's not wool. What is it? Leather. It's called leather, right? A leather jacket, leather shoes, leather belt. That's comes that's from the skin of cows. It's not real. No, no, it's real. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the leather comes from animal skin. Like you can have uh well the most popular is is the, the rawhide, the, the the skin from from a cow, right? A cow you can do just about everything. Yeah. Guys, no Vietnamese in this class. I did it too. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. Oh, chung chihuahua in my class. I did it too. Oh. All right. So leather is used for many things. Very durable. You can make shoes with it. You can make bags with it. Expensive. The real stuff. You can yeah. also <laughs> use a uh, lamb, lamb, goat. That skin too. It's a really soft leather. It's not hard like the cow one. Buffalo, Native American Indians and all them, they used to use when they would kill the buffalo, right? The, for the meat, of course, and everything else, the bones to make tools, the, the horns for tools, the hair for clothes and tents, those teepees. Remember those big triangular houses they would make and they could travel with it? That was all sewed together with animal skins because it was very, very strong and durable. And this is what they used, leather. Before we had factories, everybody used leather. Okay. Skin. Skin. Yeah, Dudley's on fire. Really macaroni. Yeah, and some nasty, nasty claws. Yeah. Oh, this doesn't look good, though. That looks like it's a, a dead cat. But what? I got the claws. Well, he's not moving. Oh, no, he's breathing. I can see him breathing here. He's just relaxing. That's a leopard, I think. Those spots. Yeah, look at the claws on him. Wow. And these birds. Oh, my God. Look at these dinosaur feet. Yeah, an eagle. Yeah, it's got to be an eagle or something like that for sure. There is a bird. And I'm not going to show it, but I'm just going to put it down. You should write this down. Ah. Uh, Casso wary, uh, where wary bird. It's a bird, yeah. I think. Let me just double check on Google if that's the right name. Casso wary. It lives in the rainforest of northeastern rainforest of northeastern Australia. Casso wary. I'm sure that's what it is. Casso wary. Is that the right bird? Casso wary. Yeah, that's the right bird. They say this bird, this bird is about like a meter tall too. It's a big bird and it, it, it has hurt people before, but it's not, you know, unless you're bugging it or something, it, oh, it's, it's not. It has like a dinosaur top on his head and his claws, his hands are like twice as big as my hand, really big. And they look like <laughs> Tyrannosaurus Rex dinosaur feet. <laughs> Like when you look at these pictures of, of this bird's feet, you you swear you're looking at a dinosaur. Like you should Google it and check out his claws. So are you birds? 
Well, they say he's a direct ancestor of the dinosaurs. If you look at the claws on that thing, wow, it's amazing. So check it out on Google. Break time mm -hmm. after class. Write it down in your notepad. You should have a notebook anyway. Um, really amazing bird. Okay. So we got a one-point lead for Dudley. Come on, Glory. Let's get one here. What are you doing? Why are you muted? If you're I'm going to delete you too. <laughs> Evable. <laughs> Claws. What's um, that? It's trunk. That's right. Alien. Three different meanings for trunk here. All right. We could have a chest. Yeah. We could have a chest trunk like this, right? Like a chest or a big box with a cover and you lock it. A trunk. Mm -hmm. Treasure trunk. Treasure chest. The trunk of the tree is the base of the tree where it's really, really thick and heavy where it supports all the weight. You can have, of course, the trunk. Elephant. What, Glory? I'll be back for a minute. In a minute, not back for a minute. How can you be back for a minute? Be back in a minute. <laughs> in a minute. I'll be away <laughs> for a minute, but not back for a minute. It means you're only going to be here one minute, then you're going to leave. <laughs> the other way around. And, of course, the back of a car, what you open up and you put your, your groceries or bags in, like here, the back of the car is also called the trunk of the car. So there's four different meanings for trunk. It can be a chest, the base of a tree, the nose of an elephant. I think it's its nose. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> and, of course, the trunk of your car. Yeah, so quite a few. Oh, trunk. Jeez, Trevor, put the words up. Trunk. Okay. All right, Jason. Yes. Let's get cracking. This one's yours. No. Best. Yes. Super, um, super best. People, something. People? Why are you people. talking about people? Who, why, who look like a people? people. No. Uh, uh, teeth. Oh. People. Something. Well, it is a hippo. It's, <laughs> a, elephant. it's a wild boar. What, Jason? Fan. Fan? Fan? Uh, Angie. Alien? T T U S K. <laughs> oh, you say it. Tusk or Tusk. that's right. Tusks. Tusks. <laughs> what did you say, Jason? Spell it again. F A N G. Ah, oh, that's a really good guess. Here's the difference, right? And Fangs is going to come up later in the vocab. <laughs> it's in our vocab, but you already said the word, so hopefully you'll get it when it comes up. Hippos have some. Look at the mouth on a hippo. That's just crazy. That is a crazy powerful aggressive he doesn't like people either they attack people all the time and they're they're monstrous look how big their mouth is i don't think anything has a mouth bigger than a hippo on land maybe a blue whale <laughs> wow and there's just big pile of mouth. Oh, huge so they got big husky teeth the wild boar these wild pigs look at these tusks on here that's pretty crazy they got a wow, weird looking <laughs> mouth and face. And of course, the most famous of all are the big tusks, the ivory tusks of the elephant. And now they are, um, the ivory tusks of elephants are, are the one, what they hunt, what poachers. That's why they kill a lot of elephants because they can sell these tusks in the black market. People, people will buy these these ivory tusks. It's terrible. People should never buy these because it means that they have to kill an elephant just to cut these off. It's very bad. But I don't understand what this picture is because you see, there's more tusks underneath the water here, <laughs> and then there's another, yeah. there's the nose hanging up over here on the side of his head. <laughs> it's like, what the heck's going on? Is he giving the baby a bath, or are they trying to kill each other? <laughs> this is a weird picture. I don't know what's going on there. Maybe saving them. I don't know what's going on, but it's weird. Tusks. And that was okay. So Alien takes the lead now. 
Tusks and trunks. <laughs> One point lead for Alien. All right. Glory not back yet. Glory's back. Ultra milk. What are you doing with that Coca Cola? It's not Coca Cola. Yeah, it's the same as a Coca Cola. No, it's milk. It's not milk. It's fake. You got milk. I saw a report where they they tested the the, the sugars and everything in a Coca Cola and a milk from the grocery store. I mean, hundred percent whole milk. And when they did all the, the ingredients and the chemists and, and broke everything down, there was Bruh. there was no extra benefit to milk than a Coca-Cola. No nutrition whatsoever. Uh, it's just a soda drink now. It just tastes like sugar. Milk doesn't taste sweet and sugary. You never had a real glass of milk. The place is where animals live. Jason knows this. Um, Amazon area, yeah, yeah. forest, animal forest. homes, jungle. even us. No, jungle, jungle. Nature. 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 nature, no, no, mountains, no, 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 place, no, starts with an H. H. I said we could have called the lesson by all the uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I already told you the word in the beginning. <laughs> um, the mm of an animal. Even us. Heritage. 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 Close. Uh, Starts with an H. Habitat. 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 Oh. Habitat. Yeah. <laughs> I gave you guys the answer earlier. Unbelievable. Uh, yeah. Habitat. Oh my God. All the different habitats in the world. This I should have. Cool. I should have. I another. forgot. I know you forgot, but now you this know. This is cool. But yeah. Don't forget. Yeah. This is I'm, cool. My God. It doesn't matter where you go on the world. Even in the desert, <laughs> you're gonna find certain kinds of animals that live there. Right? You have snakes and scorpions, and even some really funny-looking mice that live in the sand in the deserts. Um. Lots of insects in the savannas in Africa. You're gonna find the the, gira the giraffes, right? Those are the acacia trees. That's why the giraffes are so tall. They're the only ones that can eat the leaves. Nobody else can get to them. <laughs> um, and that's where the lions live. And then, of course, the marine life and the coral reefs. That's where the fish live, right? Do they have fins and gills? And then, of course, you have the the Arctic and Antarctica, where the penguins and the polar bears and mm -hmm. and all those and whales and all these cold an animals that other animals couldn't live there. I don't think the zebra would live long in in the Arctic snow. And then you have other like wolverines and all kinds of small animals that live in the mountains that don't live in the prairies. They live up here for safety and other reasons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the habitat. And then you have cities and villages and towns. Who habitats? Whose habitat is the city? Um, Monkeys? Uh, no. <laughs> human. People. Humans. That's right. Human habitats. That's what they call it. Human habitats. Right? We don't live in the ocean. We don't live in the savanna. We don't live up in the mountains. We don't live in the ice. We live in a city or a village or a town. We live in the earth. <laughs> but we live all over the world, though. We are the most adaptable. Um, and what about in jungles? Uh, animals. Jungles, jungles. What's one of the main animals. animals that lives in the jungles? They're all over the jungles. Monkeys. Monkeys, because they got all the trees. They can stay high up in the in the air to stay away from predators. Yeah. Birds, squirrel, squirrel. Birds, lots of birds. That's right. You don't see too many monkeys in the mountains or in the snow or in uh, or in the ocean, or in the, and you don't see monkeys hanging out in the field for the. Leopards will eat them. <laughs> yeah, so habitats. That's right. All the different types of hab habitats. All right, habitats. So that's a two-point lead now for alien. Mm -hmm. So now, okay, so here's habitats, right? And I said we're talking about kind of the features of animal animals. So now, this word is about like, why the fish evolved and it has fins, right? Not feet. 
This is why bears have really thick fur and underneath they have a layer that's like waterproof and, and, and they're very fat so they never get cold, right? So they're built for that environment. And they're all white, so you can't see them in the snow. Polar bear. Mm. Polar bear, yeah. Um, and like the zebras. Like you can see the zebras really easy, right? Yes. Did I tell you the story about the zebra and and the uh, research guys? No. Uh-huh. Yeah? No? No, no. Oh, my God. There was a group of researchers a while back, and they were researching and studying the zebras. And I don't what, know. Well, no, I'm telling you a story. Oh. And they were in Africa, and they were studying the animals. And the one they were studying was the zebra. And what they found out, because you'll understand with the story, is that the black and white stripes is... Th- the big part of their camouflage. You know camouflage? Uh, yes. remember, we had camouflage before. You remember that? Yes. Yeah? How do, like a, if you're a soldier, you wear the clothes that look like the trees and you put the branches in your hair so you can't see them. It's easy to hide. You look at the lions, right? If the lion is laying in this tall grass, you can't see like the lion. Reason. The lion is the same co- color. The chameleons and some of the flounder fishes, I oh, think it is. It's a color, yeah, I forgot. The chameleon, yeah. They change their colors. They look like the rock. They look like the tree. They look like the leaf. Yeah, Cam- uh, camouflage. Yeah, remember? Yeah. Well, how do you think this is camouflage for the zebra? Uh. I can see them. You can see them. How are they hiding? Everybody they are the same it. colors. That's exactly what it is. If you look at this group right here, it's hard to even count how many zebras are right in here. You know, one, two, three, four. Oh, five. No, there's one right behind them. One here, five. five. Like, it's hard to count them. Maybe one, two, three, four. But now, if you watch a video where they're moving and they're running together, yeah. try, to, try to pick one zebra and keep your eye on one zebra when they're running. What? Which one? I don't know which one it is anymore. You lose track because they all look the same. And that's why zebras never go alone. They're always together in big herds, hundreds of them, right? Because a lion when the lions hunt them, they have to pick out the old one, the young one, the injured one. They all have to identify like a wolf pack, yeah? We're gonna attack that one. And then they all go after the same one, and then sometimes they catch them and they have dinner. But when they start running, and all of a sudden the lion's like, oh, that's the one I'm chasing. And the other lion says, no, that one I'm chasing, and that one I'm chasing. And they don't, uh, catch, they don't catch their, yeah. their they don't catch them. They don't catch the, uh, the zebras. They get tricked, yeah, because they can't focus. They need more than one of them to catch the lion. They all have to attack it because it'll so kick them and run away. Very confused. So the research guys, what they thought, I got an idea. You know what we'll do? We'll drive up on the truck and we'll put a little red mark of paint on their butt. So the, they, they got up close and they put a little mark of paint on the butt. So when they come back tomorrow morning, they know which zebra. Ah, oh, there he is with the, with the red mark on it. There he is. So we can, we know, we can keep studying that zebra, right? But what happened was the next day they came to work. The zebra wasn't there anymore. Like, what the where did he go? Uh, he was over there. The lions were eating him. <laughs> <laughs> because what they did by marking him red, they made him different. So now when the yeah. lions attacked, they all attacked the guy with the red butt. <laughs> Poor the guy with the red butt. Poor red butt zebra. Yeah. So red. sometimes... Sometimes it's better to blend in with the crowd than to stand out and be different. <laughs> it's a lesson people could learn too. <laughs> Cuz you always become the target. If everybody's focused on you, you're the one they're going to pick on. Even at school. You know, it's always the stranger kid, the one that looks a little different, the one that's a little bigger, the one that's a little smaller, the one that's a little heavier. The one that talks a little funny, the one that's a little slower in class, maybe the one who's smarter. And you notice in schools, that attracts the bad guys. 
And then that student gets bullied a lot. That student gets picked on a lot because he's a little bit different or she's a little bit different from the other students. It's true. Okay, let's move on. Habitats. Uh, who got habitats? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Not that again. Holy macaroni. All right, come on, guys. Cheese, you're back now. Let's get rolling. Let's get rolling. You got to get some points. Laura, I get the first point. Here we go. I already told you. Where are the zebras? Uh. Oh, no, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. No, here. Here, here, here. What? <laughs> what? Mm. I'm dead. That's a tough one. Ev Wait, what? Evolution. Yeah, it's like evolution. No. UNESCO. UNESCO? <laughs> no. Um, well, remember I was talking about why do fish have fins? Why do zebras have black and white stripes? Why do lions have yellow beige skin? They look like the grass. Why do giraffes have the longest neck in the world? Why do monkeys have long, long... Uh, adaptation. Uh, adaptation. Adaptation. Yeah. Adaptation. adaptation. Yeah. Just Ish. like us, we adapt, right? That when you machine. are in when you are in an environment for thousands of years, hundreds of thousands of years, and millions of years, your body mm. changes to adapt. Well, you'll read about like the camel, for example. It has a big nose, but the nose has flaps. He can close his nose. And he's got the biggest eyelashes in the world. Why? Oh my gosh. Why? And uh, why, do, why does he why does he he can close his nose like we close our mouth and he can close his nostrils his eyes he's got the biggest eyelashes in on the planet why why does he have big wide feet why does he have a big hump on his back a camel is, is a good example of what we're going to read about right where does he live where does the camel live camel live in Desert. Yeah, he lives in the deserts, right? Well, does he need fins and flippers? No. No, because no. he's not in the water. Does he need a really, really, really thick polar bear fur? No. No, no because it's hot. Does yeah. he does he need long claws to hunt things down? No, no, no. Yes. Not a carnivore, right? It has a yeah. big because when they go through, when they go on caravans, right? When they hike through the deserts, they go long periods of time without water and without food. So that's why they have that big hump. Remember, it stores fat. It stores energy for the animal to go long distances without water and food. They can wait a long time. Why? Do, why can they close their nose without using anything or put a mask on? And why they have big eyelashes? Because the desert is full of sand. And they have huge sandstorms so they can protect their eyes and their nose and breathe in these storms. Why do they have big flat feet, 10 times the size of a cow? So they can walk on the sand. <laughs> Why does a duck have duck feet? <laughs> what? Uh, huh? You can paddle in the water, yeah, like big paddles. Yeah. Adaptations. You know what I see? And eventually we'll have half human, half people. They'll be called cyborgs or androids like this guy. <laughs> cool. Now, what's going on with this caterpillar? What's going on here? Turning into a body. They grow up. And then. Yeah. These, this is one of. And change the butterfly. Metamorphosis. Metamorphosis, I think they call it. It's incredible. Yeah. A caterpillar will turn himself or fall into a cocoon and then his body will transform into a butterfly and then fly away it's I, the so, so incredible it is incredible imagine imagine if you say i'm gonna go to bed tomorrow i'm gonna wake up like a bear <laughs> it was a very incredible that would be crazy wow and then there's another one too the little maggots that eat that eat all the raw flesh and dead things those turn into flies. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Crazy, crazy stuff I tell you. Here, 
Where do the zebras live? Where do the wildebeest live? These terrains in Africa, what do we call them? Uh. I told you the answer. Where does the lion live? Ow. <laughs> Savannah. The savannas. The savannas of Africa. It's the big flatlands. That's right. That's where the lions, the zebras, the, the, the is it gazelle maybe too, and the wildebeest. These guys up here, I think they're called wildebeest. In the rivers, we have all the crocodiles. These wildebeest are the favorite food for crocodiles. But see how they, see how there are so many of them. None of them go alone. They always stay in herds. And just like the wildebeest, if they start running, how are you going to know which one to hunt? Look at them. They look the same. Yeah. Yeah, really hard to hunt one. I mean, if you have a gun, it's easy. You just shoot one. <laughs> but if you're, if you got to run after it and catch it, oh, my God, you could chase 12 different wildebeests. <laughs> and that's how they stay. That's how they stay uh, alive and survive, too, because they have to cross those rivers all the time, and the crocodiles are always waiting for them, and the crocodiles always catch some. But because there's so many of them, and then they cross <laughs> together at the same time, most of them live, and only one or two will be sacrificed for the food chain. So it's, it's evolution. Amazing. And that's why there's always thousands of these. You never see thousands of lions. Right? Never. Savannas in Africa. All right. Now we've had this word, too. It's another landscape for habitat. Habitat again. Well, a lot of habitat today. A lot of habitat. A lot of animal features. Sand. Sand, Sand yeah. Is that alien again? What? Is that, mm. that alien? Sand? What? Who said? He's, no, Dudley. Oh, Dudley who got it's sand? Dudley. Yeah. Oh, Dudley, good job. Yeah, he got sand. Okay. Sand. I got some next time. My your slide is slow to me. Oh, I, 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 I explained it before I showed it. I just showed the picture late. Sand. Yeah. Where are we going to find sand? Desert, beach. Deserts, beaches. Yeah. A lot of places we could find sand. Sand dunes. Yeah. And. Where? What? Ant. Ants. Ants. <laughs> yeah, they like sand. They live in the dirt with their heart. Oh, that's a, that's a CGI, computer-generated image, but that's really pretty. <laughs> Beautiful to have your house here. As long as there's no polar bears. But no, that's the tropics. You're never going to find a polar bear in the tropics. <laughs> All right. So now we've talked about some of the, the animals that have the claws, right? And the big teeth. And like you said before, the, the, yeah, the big teeth and they hunt. What do we call animals that hunt other animals? Um, why animal? Well, a duck is a wild animal, but I don't see ducks hunting deer. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, no, that's no. animals that hunt and eat other animals. What do we call these guys predator. Yeah, that's right, Jay. So, uh, she, say it again. Predator? It's not how we say it. Look at the phonics. Not predator. Predator. Pre. Not pre. Pred. Like red. Red, 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 red. Pred. Pred. Predators. Well, actually, we don't say tors. Oh, we don't say tors. You see, this is the ER phonic. Sounds like ER. Pred. This sounds the A, yeah. Preda. Pred. Predator. Terrors, terrors. <coughs> predators, predators. Yeah. Predators. predators are the hunters. Crocodiles are predators. Hawks, eagles are predators. Owls are predators. Snakes are predators. Lions, tigers, leopards are predators. Sharks are predators. Bears are predators. Yes. And people are the predator. People are predators. That's right. <laughs> I'm not a predator. Predator. Well, okay. Here, here's the, the the cheese gets a point. Okay. Um. Now, 
the the difference with us, the human animal, right? Is is we are the fastest evolving animal of all animals. We have the ability to think. We have intelligence, right? We can build houses, we can build factories, we can build tools, we can create computers, we can build cars, we can fly, right? We are a very, very unique animal. We have the ability to process information and learn, and learn from others. See, like, we can learn from the people that are already dead, their studies, and then we can continue their studies and continue their studies and continue their studies. And that's why humans went like, so fast in evolution because of our, our intelligence, our brains. But brain. by nature, we're, we're, what, we're what we call omnivores. Is omnivore? Uh, herbivores, carnivores. Okay. All right. So there's three things you have to know here. There are animals that only eat meat. Okay. So I guess you could call, uh, you could say, yeah, you could say like a shark only eats fish, right? And uh, and uh, whale, or killer whales only eat fish. So there are, and what else? Uh, crocodiles, they only eat other animals, right? You never see, you don't see crocodiles having an apple. Yeah. Right? And I don't, yeah. I don't think lions eat um, berries and nuts and fruits. I don't think, I think they only eat meat. So they are carnivores. And a carnivore is someone that some some animal that only eats meat. A carnivore. Now you have some animals that are herb herbivore herbs. Flora, right? They eat plants. They eat berries. They eat cherries. That's all they eat. Like birds. Um, no, no. Birds eat insects. Insects are part of the animal kingdom. And, and big birds eat other animals. They eat rabbits and foxes and all kinds of things. So I guess we can't say birds, but we can say... What can we say are herbivores? Oh, cows, chickens, um, camel, um, rabbits. They're, they're herbivores. They, all, they only eat vegetation, vegetables only. Right, so they're like vegetarians. <laughs> and then you have the ones that eat both, like humans. We eat vegetables and we eat meat. So we are omnivores. Okay? So okay. we're omnivores. And I think we were always omnivores because we first started, what I understand is we first started eating fruit and and um, roots and nuts and seeds, like the first cavemen, first people. But eventually we learned to hunt. And eventually we started catching animals and we started eating meat. Right? So we're omnivores. But our history, we are still predators because many of us still hunt. Our ancestors, all the people before us, we hunted woolly mammoths, we hunted bear, we hunt deer, we hunted chickens, we hunt birds, we hunt fish. We hunt all the time. But because we're so intelligent now, we don't have to do our own hunting for us. And we don't even bother with the hunting anymore. Now we build farms and we just put all the buffalo and the cows and the chickens and the pigs and we just put them all in the farm. So when we're hungry, we just go kill one and eat it. Oh, okay, but we, yes. But we still eat animals. It means we hunt animals. Just because we farm them and stopped hunting doesn't mean we're not predators. So yeah, we're predators too. And humans kill humans. Okay, that's great. But we don't we don't eat them. Some people do, but we don't. <laughs> Ew. But Ew. that's that's because of our intelligence. So that's a little different. But yeah, we would be predators. Okay. Predators. Alright, so those are predators. What do you call the people that get chased and eaten? <laughs> what do you call the mouse and the rabbit and the, the sheep? And people in the water with sharks. And a meat. Uh, like uh, the zebra. Uh, uh, Zebras are herbivores. Yeah. Um, uh, oh, poor mouse. Look at the cat. He got the mouse. Oh, it's so mean. He's playing with it. Look at him. He's just playing with it. It's like, oh, you're such a cute little mouse. Where? What are you? Oh, you want to touch me? Oh, I'm going to show you a thing or two. Don't you dare. Don't you dare touch me again. Oh, come here, you. Why animal? Right. 
now I right. Prey is what Pray. we call the animals that get hunted and eaten. <laughs> prey. The predator is the hunter. The prey is the food. So what animals are humans prey to? Uh, animals. Yeah, we are prey to what animals? What animals eat people? Uh, crocodile. Crocodiles Shark. eat people. Shark. Sharks. Sharks. Uh, snake. Some. Oh, well, if you're a small baby, maybe a snake might swallow you. Maybe, but not really. Snakes don't eat people. Oh. Uh, some, uh, some whales. What? But Elliot? Some whales? I don't know of any uh, whales that eat people. Killer whales. Like killer whales. No, yep. killer whales never attack people. Only if they make the whale the prisoner. There's only been two times that a uh, orca attacked people or killed a person. And they were because the orcas were in uh, a sea world and they attacked and killed their trainer. But in the ocean? No. You can go swimming with orcas. They don't bother you at all. You can't it, not swim with sharks. No, sharks is dead. You can, but it's very risky. Uh, yeah, yeah, you we, we can, but but uh, but very can't dangerous. not with the shark. Yeah, they're not the same. But see, dol uh, killer whales, the orcas, are part of the dolphin family. They're mammals. They're they're very intelligent, and they don't attack people. So they don't eat people. So sharks and sharks don't even eat. Well, they do sometimes. It, sharks. Crocodiles. There's another one that eats people all the time. Uh, lions. Lion. Oh. lions will eat people. Yeah, big cats, tigers, and lions will eat people. That's right. You got big cats. You got crocodiles. You got sharks. And another one. Another really, really big, dangerous one. Uh, They're big, 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 big. And they like to eat people. Lion. Already, the big cats, lions, tigers, they all eat people, yes. A little pack. Ah, we have them in Canada, we have them in the North Pole. Uh, a little part. The kangaroo will punch, punch people. Camel will punch people. But they what? don't eat. But they don't eat. They don't eat people. <laughs> yeah. Bears. Ooh. We forgot the big ones, yeah. Sharks in the Why? water, they eat people. Yeah. The big cats. Why <laughs> Canada lot. can like bear? Yeah, the but. lions and tigers and leopards, they eat people. And what was the other one you guys said? There was other uh, crocodiles. They eat people for sure. They eat people every year. They pull them into the, the river and eat them. And then of course the one that happens too often is well, not that often, but happens. Is the bears, the grizzly bears, the black bears, the polar bears for sure. If they say people, oh, there's lunch, I'm going to eat that person. You don't play with a polar bear. <laughs> you run fast. <laughs> yeah, what else could eat people? Dogs eat people too. Wild, oh. wild dogs do. Oh, I <laughs> Wolves, uh, African wild dog, dingoes in Africa. They have eaten people before. Yeah. All right. So some. We're prey to some animals. Verb. Uh, Dick. Yeah. Dudley. Dudley's on fire again. Eight, no. five. Aliens got eight. Dudley's got five. <laughs> Just in the cheese have one and glory. I quit. I quit. Well, this lies too slow for me. I think got some lag. You got a lag, do you? Oh, I showed the picture here, and then he said, yeah, I'm going to tell you when I'm flicking the picture, and then tell me when you see it. So, oh, sorry. Dig! Dig, dig, diggity, dig, dig! Can you oh. say that, Glory? Dig, dig, diggity, dig, dig! Dig, 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 dig! Pretty good. Cheese. Dig, dig, diggity, dig, dig! Dig, 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 dig! Oh, my God. Dudley. Dig, dig, diggity, dig, dig! Dig, 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 dig! <laughs> Jason, dig, dig, diggity, dig, 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 diggity, dig, 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 Good, alien, dig, dig, diggity, dig, 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 dig. All right, let's go to the next one. Oh my God! So what do animals dig? Um, 
a hole. Lend something. <laughs> a a <hole>. mouse. <laughs> What do they dig? The holes, the, the, the moles, the gophers, some lizards. Look at that face on that lizard. Uh, cave. Cave. What do they dig? Animals living underground. They live in a what? I think uh, rabbits, gophers. Okay. Underground. Oh, again, Jason? No, not that word. No? Sound the animals. Ground. The animal live in the underground. Yeah, but what do you call those those tunnels underground that that, that animals live in? Round. What did you, what did you say? Burrow. 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 Yeah, Dudley. Uh, Jason. Alien, you got it for sure. He said burrow. Oh, oh burrow. A burrow. burrow. They call that. it a burrow. Burrow. Yeah, those are underground tunnels, holes dug. See, a hole in the ground dug by the animals, such as a rabbit, especially to live in. And they also dig underground, not just for safety, but for uh, insulation. Like a lot of these animals live in the winter, right? So where are they going to have a home in the cold, cold snow and ice? So in the summers, in the, when, the, when the weather's warm, they dig homes underground. And then all they have to do is just clean off the snow on the on the hole but then when animals come they can always hide down deep into the ground and the animals can't get to them i saw a video where there was uh what was it i can't remember what the animal was but there was an animal that had a burrow in africa and the lion was trying to dig up the hole to try to get to him and the lion was like standing on his head <laughs> it was really funny uh trying to get in into this hole to get it but i couldn't i don't know what kind of animal it was but yeah, animals big bur burrows all over the world, all over the place. I don't know what they call it for ant hills. Do they dig? Bur I mean, they they do a really amazing underground tunnel system. The ants, they're 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 like engineers. They're incredible. Okay, burrow means to dig too. Ants will burrow further into the ground too during winter. Okay, so they do go deeper and deeper for the winter. Do ants dig tunnels? Here we go. They don't say burrow, so they say they will burrow further into the ground. That just means they'll they'll dig more. Diggers, construction, elaborate. Now they call it a nest. Multi-layered connections of tunnels. Yeah, up to twenty-five feet deep. They'll go digging tunnels. So 20, 25 feet, that's uh, divide that by three. That, 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 that's what? Eight? Up to eight meters deep, they will dig their, their homes. Ants. Holy macaroni. They're incredible creatures. Huh. Uh, thief. Thief. Um, no. <laughs> I told you oh, it was coming. Uh, uh, they're not tusks. They're. Um, Jason, um, what is it? Not, uh, not, 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 the fangs, these guys. Fangs. <laughs> this guy. I don't know. He looks so mean. <laughs> <laughs> he don't look happy. He look like he's gonna bite someone. Maybe he doesn't like the camera. <laughs> Dudley, you want yeah, this dog? Like it. <laughs> no. No, why? He's so cute. Look at his big eyes. No. And his cute nose. We can but no. <laughs> you can't eat me anytime. He could eat you. He can't anytime. eat you. No, no, vampire. You will eat him. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't yeah. eat a dog. No, I yes, don't sir. eat dogs. Some people but, do. Uh, All right. I don't eat dogs. A fried dog? I will eat it. Fried dog. Fried dog. <laughs> no, you have to eat it you're raw fried. if you're going to eat it. Just take it with the fur. <laughs> Like a bear would eat it. All right. Again, some more animal features, animal parts, part of their biology. What the heck is those things? Are those things? Uh, 
Rhino. Well, that's the animal. But what are these Horn. pointy things? Corn. 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 Benicia. I mean, Benicia. Benicia. <laughs> Glory, as Benicia. usual, sneaks in with one point at the end of the race. <laughs> Horns. <laughs> yeah. These big horn sheep, they have horns. They ram their heads together. These big buffalo have big buffalo horns and cow horns. And, of course, rhinoceros, rhinos have these horns in the front. They're not called tusks. They're called horns. They're different. I think it's a different material than the... Uh... Gee, it would be hard for him to come through the kitchen door. Dinner's ready. Yeah. Um, clunk, clunk. Can I say it again? It would be hard for him to come into the kitchen. To have dinner. What? Bah. Oh, you saw it. You showed it. Ew. You. You. Mm. You showed it. I know. I know, but it don't matter. It, uh, Alien already won. There's only two words left. <laughs> but but we have two more pictures. Okay, so Glory got her first point. Cheese only has one point. Who didn't get a point? Everybody got at least one point. Okay. Yeah. I said I said if you were that big bull, it'd be really hard to go into the kitchen to eat dinner. Even doors. He'd never get in the door. His horns are too big. How does he even get in the farm? They must have like big. Oh, uh, so huge. <laughs> he wouldn't even fit there. Exactly. That's that's why I'm joking, saying his head, his horns are so big, he can't even go in any room or anything. You never have to worry about him coming to the living room, <laughs> bugging you. He never get in the door. All right. So the next one, you saw the word already. I know what you are. So I'm going to do a bonus question here. How do fish breathe? What do they have here? Uh, they have, um, They're not carry? like humans. No. Uh, no. No, 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 no. Fish don't. They're not mammals. They don't breathe like people. But they use these things on the side of their bodies to breathe. And it extracts the oxygen from, you? The, from the gills. Yeah, that's right. Deadly. Gills. Fish breathe through gills. And then they can shoot the water out of their gills. Very different biology than a human. But then look again, look where they live. They live in the water. <laughs> so they have to have different bodies than us. Um, so here's the bonus question. If animal, no, I mean, if fish, fish is an animal. If fish breathe with gills, <laughs> what do humans breathe with? Uh, no. Nose. I mean, lungs. Lungs. Lori gets another point. Oh. Lungs. <laughs> Judly breathe through their nose. What? <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> yes, we use our nose and our mouth to bring in the air, but the breathing is really done with the the lungs. You have to have the lungs or else. The nose and the mouth is useless without the lungs. <laughs> Good guess. You can't breathe and you die. Well, exactly. The, the, when you die, that's when your last breath leaves your body. Lungs. Because we have two, yeah? One on each side behind the ribs. That's why we have these ribs to protect us. Protect our body organs. Um, but lungs is what people use to breathe. Gills are what fish use. Use. To breathe. Yeah, okay. All right. So that was a bonus point. She got it. The last word of the day, and I already gave you this word too. Huh. Um, I don't we know. talked about this. We talked about it intensely. In great detail. Uh, uh, oh. Find the Camouflage. giraffe. I can't. Camouflage. Camouflage. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> okay, my god. Oh my god! Oh Sorry, my god! Sorry, why? Why you only get points at the end of the game? What's going on with you? Oh my god! Giga chat. My giga chat is so loud. What's the, what is giga chat? Giga chat? <laughs> what is a giga chat? <laughs> yeah, yeah I, 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 sounds I, loud. I, sounds like a good, good, good. Uh, I I just go platform. go out in the cave. Hmm. All right. Remember, I was talking about that how you know you look at a zebra and it's like well how in the world does a black and white horse in the middle of a field camouflage itself against lions that doesn't make sense but it does when you 
when you stop the video here and then and, and you go, go ahead, you pick one of these. these now they're going to run. You try to keep your eye on that zebra, right? So okay. you, got, you got one here, one here, one beep, beep over here, one over there, one here, one here. And there's another head here. So there's like three in here, right? Because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I see at least. Okay. So everybody pick a zebra. All right. You got your zebra? No, I picked the cat. <laughs> Well, you pick one. Huh? Pick because you're you are you are going to hunt now, but you got to catch them. Okay, you're a lion. You can catch okay. it. Well, a lion can. You're catch it. A lion you're catch. catch. It. You catch it. No, play the no, game. No, Listen, no everybody, no pick it. pick your zebra and try to follow it. Watch, watch I the zebras the now. Zebra. All right, you know which one you're picking, yeah? Yeah. Okay, keep your eyes on it. Okay. What is that echo? What the heck's going I on? Just... Oh, no. I don't know. Where is it? Um, where is it now? What? Why did they do that? What? Okay, pick him again. Pick him again. Why is there such an echo? I don't know. Okay, it's pick your zebra. You got your zebra? Okay, now keep your eye on it. Okay, I kept my eye on it. Oh, well, I can't pause it. I don't know why it won't pause. It keeps jumping to the next slide. Yeah, <laughs> but you, you can see. You pick a, you pick a yeah. zebra, and then they start running. Nah. You can't. What, you, oh, oh, that one. No, it was this one. It was that, it was that one. It was this one. Oh, no, oh, no. It was that. Wow, where'd he go? Oh, right? Wow. Because they oh, all God. look alike. That's their camouflage. You can't. Once they start running together with hundreds of them. I lost my zebra. Well, exactly. That the lion loses his zebra nine out of ten times every day too. Takes him a long time to catch his zebra. <laughs> they have to work really hard. Everybody always has to work hard, even the lions. You think the zebra would just say, "Ah, take this guy. I don't like him." <laughs> oh, they gotta chase him and work hard. It just never ends. What? <laughs> and some necklace. Okay, I don't know why I have all that. Everybody. Hello, Miss Lay. Hi. Welcome. Yes. Welcome to the lion's den. <laughs> yeah. All right. Who's the winner today? Alien is, is back on top. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, Glory can be first? Uh, no, she got the last three points. I think Cheese will be going first, I think. Let me check here. Okay, so what do we got? One point for Mr. Cheesy. What the, what the, what? I'm going to change your name to... Potato head. Ha. You. What? Potato head. Cheese head. What? You only got one what? point, cheese. That's why you got five point eight in English. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta participate. Cheese is first. Jason is number two. He was eating fried chicken again. Oh no! In his new office. <laughs> <laughs> in his space chair. <laughs> and Glory will be third. Dudley will be fourth. He finished with six points. His best performance ever. He beat his best five one time. And then Alien got by with nine points. Uh. So, Jeez, Jason, Glory, Dudley, Elion. Good luck, Elyon. ladies and gentlemen. Elion. That's my Elyon. Jeez, number one. Well. My alien <laughs> accent. Alion. Alion with Kiran. <laughs> what, what is Alion? <laughs> alien, but Bro. with my, my accent. Alion, not alien. Cheese. Um, um, the car is very evil because they can. Uh, the car is so it. <laughs> the car is very useful because it. Only one car, right? Because if, uh, it's what? Take me somewhere very fast. Yeah, it, it can take it can take me anywhere very fast. Okay. Sorry, cheese, I muted you by accident. Yeah, the word is convenient. That's what a car offers you, right? In convenience, because it gets you out of the rain. It gets you where you want to go fast. It offers tremendous convenience. It's a lot better than getting on a motorcycle and a lot better than getting on a horse and even better than walking. <laughs> That's why they're so rich. It's a very convenient vehicle. 
Jason, number two. I love she's. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't see the sharing screen. You see? cannot see. So everybody see it? Or not? I, I saw it. Now you have the videos. Now you have the sentences. Yeah. You got it, Jason? Uh, I saw I'm seeing a black screen. Well, that's you need glasses. What do you see, see, Alien? Alien, what do you see? I see vocabulary. All right, you see vocabulary. Vocabulary, that's yeah. the other accent. Vocabulary. Vocabulary. Sentence challenge. Yeah. <laughs> there, Jason. Refresh your computer. So now, eyelashes. The word number two is eyelashes. No, you still cannot see my share screen? No, oh, I see it now. Okay. Number two for Jason. Um, everyone ha has, has eyelashes. Yeah, too <laughs> long or short, but yeah, everybody has eyelashes, I believe. Not sure about aliens, world, but for human being, yes, I think so. Everybody does. Um, glory, <laughs> glory number three for... Uh, I cut my... My cat's fur. Uh, I cut my cat's fur. <laughs> now it's all gone. Yeah, gone. Actually, I saw a dog, like the neighbor's one. They cut their fur and then <laughs> like a ball. I can say that totally clean. <laughs> but it grows quite fast. All right. Dudley, number four. Um... The camel have a hump. Camel. In, camel. In your back. Camel, right? Yeah, camel. 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 The, the camel have a hump in your neck. The so it means that some no, or uh, every everyone has one on their back. Yeah. Yeah. So I think because you know that the the act. The article, right? The article, uh, 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 an author, if you say the camel has a hum on its back, so it means that I can understand that the other, the other, and the camels maybe they don't have, but I think this is their features, right? So you say that camels, same like uh, fish, uh, swim, right? So camels have uh, humps humps on their backs right yeah i think that we should make it general which is their appearance right um the last one of this page is for alien skin uh, she has a very clear skin clear smooth Clear, clear. Like maybe skin smooth, skin. clean, clean and clear. Oh, clean. clean. I'm not really sure. Clean. clean, it's uh, <laughs> clean. Uh, maybe. I don't, I don't really sure. Clean and clear. But smooth, I, I believe we can like that. Yeah, fair feel is the color. Um, smooth skin, no acne. Clear. Yeah, here they say clear. All right. And it's even a oh, very clear skin. So it's like a tie of skin. Yeah. Countable. Number six. Back to cheese. Claws. Um, the cat is clamped the, uh, the leg of the chair. I'll be back for a minute. The cat is clawing, uh, clawing the the legs of the chair. Yeah, I remember when we had a cat. Usually, try to same like. I have feeling that it just want to 
to make a shape or something of practice. Always try to claw, try to claw, yeah. and scratch. Yeah, that's how they uh, they sharpen their claws. They claw at things, so they'll claw wood, especially a lot of animals do that. You'll see bears do it to trees. Yeah, delicious. <laughs> Make it sharper. Um, that's G. Jason, number seven, chunk, chunk. Uh, every elephant has chunk. Yes, a chunk. Yes, every every. So I think that we should say just make them agree, right? Every elephant has a chunk. Yes, that's right. Same like a, a human being has noses. <laughs> no, I don't. The Asian elephants don't. Have, oh, trunks. Oh, I thought you were talking about Trunk. tusks. Trunks. Yeah, no, okay. no tusks. tusks. Yeah, no, not not the, every. The, the tusk is even not for the young ones, right? Yeah, and I don't think females have tusks. I think it's only the African male elephants, I think, but I'll double check when I edit this. But I think it's only the big African male elephants have tusks. Mm -hmm. I, I could be wrong. This one's chunk. Uh, glory, number eight, task. Oh, are you there, Glory? <sighs> Hi. Sorry, said she will back in a minute. Okay. I was talking and didn't hear. All right, so we just yeah. move to Dudley. Dudley, so you can cover Glory. She will do something later. Um, Number eight, task. The elephant trunk is very long. They can... This one's task. Task. Uh, no, task. Oh, sorry. Task. It's not tongue. Oh, the, this elephant tusk can um, pull, pull, pull the tree and can break the tree. <laughs> can break the tree. Ah, probably the tree bark. <laughs> But uh, maybe we just say simple, it's a noun, right? So it's a verb too. Mm. So maybe just say that this, uh, this elephant, this elephant has very long task, or simple like that. Yeah. But I think, yes, here is the verb. So maybe it can use its task to break the bark of the tree or something. All right. So alien now number nine habitat. So what? What is our habitat, alien? We human being. Where do you live? Uh, in Vietnam. No, it's not about the country you live in. Houses, right? Earth. Yeah, <laughs> houses. We live in houses. Yeah. So no, he, left. he live on Mars. <laughs> well, yeah. is, the, the environment is really what we're talking about with habitats. What environments do we live in? We don't live in oceans. Mm. In land and houses. Um, so what is your example with number nine? And then um, Glory, you will prepare a sentence with number 10 because you missed your number eight. So alien first, number nine, habitats. Uh, many habitats such as uh, wetlands are disappearing fast. Yeah, changing. So, Venus. She's 11. Um... In uh, in Africa, uh, they have a lot of seven seven hearts. No. So there are a lot of there are a lot of savannas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I let me see. This one, let me check it. Just say that there are a lot of savannas 
in Africa. Yeah. yeah. So now too. All right. It's it's already the plural form of the of this noun. Um, Jason, number twelve. Uh, uh, there's a lot of sands on the beach. On the beach near my house. <laughs> Glory number 13 predator or predators um, is your cat a predator yes yeah. so what's your example my cat is a predator <laughs> Uh, Dudley number 14. Mm. The lion can catch the prey very fast. <laughs> very quickly. Very easy. The animal could then, yeah, maybe just tell the story. The animal could catch the prey very quickly. Uh, alien number 15. Uh -huh. Who was dig this hole? So you want to use what? this one is the verb. So dig, duck, duck. I think duck, duck, duck. Yeah. yeah. So who dug this hole in the garden? Right. Has form. Back to cheese, I believe. Burrow. Another home. I have home anymore. Cheese number 16. Borrow? Borrow, yeah. Borrow. People have to um, borrow the, uh, the, the dirt, the dirt up wow. to grow the tree. <laughs> right? That probably dig the the, the, the the dirt of the soil and make the make bed and grow vegetable. Yeah. No. Burrow is. Burrow is to dig, but it's to it, it, the verb is to tunnel. Right, you burrow a tunnel under the river. You, the Elon Musk is borrowing tunnels for traffic highways under Los Angeles. Borrow is to make tunnels. It's not just to dig a hole. It's to create a tunnel to mm. borrow. Like if you look at, a, a, if you Google up underground maps of boroughs, boroughs, um, you're going to see interconnecting chambers where they build all these places for food and for sleeping. And they build like little homes and tunnels underground and this one probably say like a majority it's um, um for animal for example even the bird like uh, the rats uh the road well yeah it's funny because you could say they we use bor borrow the verb for people more like they they borrow through the mountain to mine the coal Mm -hmm. um, they make caves, they make tunnels, right? But with animals, they call the home an actual burrow too. So it would be kind of funny. He borrowed a burrow to live in. <laughs> he dug the hole to live in. Because a, a burrow can be the hole in the ground, the tunnel system, and it can also be the bird. Oh, we can say that the rat just bur burrowed um, under the... Under the tree or under the lawn, under yeah. the grass. Yeah. The animal burrowed into the garden or built a burrow, both. Okay. Jason, it's Jason, yes, number 17. <laughs> it's your word. <laughs> Do we have this type of teeth? I don't have any pants. And funks. I don't have any funks. Fang, fangs, and yes, you do, Dudley. People, people have fangs. We have two fangs. They're just small. They're the two pointy, the two pointy teeth. 
Yeah, you have two fangs. They're just small. That's the what we use to rip food. Some they have a longer, but usually they have a very, very short, right? Just a little bit pointy. Uh, we hunt with our hands. We don't hunt with our fangs. That's why we have small fangs. Okay. Fangs. Okay. fangs. So we like fangs. Yeah, Jason, we say that we also have fangs, <laughs> even very, very short. Um, Glory, number 18. I know. <laughs> but for those, right? Rhino. So maybe just simple, right? So rhinos have horns. Um, Dudley, number 19. Gil, sorry, gills. In the aquaman, the fishman need the gill to breathe in the sea. That is a film. Yeah. Uh, Aquaman. Fiction. Movie. Fiction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It gives to, to see. All right. The last one here is for Alien. Camouflage. 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 What? Uh, some flat fish can uh, camouflage. So on the ocean floor. Mm. Ocean. Ocean floor. Things. Yeah. So. Ocean floor. Then the other like enemy cannot see them. That's nice. Beautiful the nature. <laughs> okay, everybody. So what Some is that? Some octopus too have amazing camouflage. They can change their colors like chameleons too. Some can some octopus. So, Mr. Trevor, what's the plan? Yep. Take a quick plan, take a quick break, and then we'll get to our reading. Ah. Okay. Break time. Uh, break time. Only. Um, yeah. Bye bye. So, and do some reading about this. Uh, <laughs> okay. yeah. Bye. And have class. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. We got the camel at the camels in the desert and how their bodies have adapted the different adaptations to live in the desert being able to go long areas without eating and drinking and reserving energy and the way their bodies are designed we talked about the polar bears how they've adapted with their thick fur that they can even go swimming in the arctic ocean and then they're not going to get cold and freeze so it's amazing and they have fur but they have yeah it's, it's, it's crazy um, and of course, the white fur so that they can hide in the snow for hunting. Uh, the snow fox is like that too, the white fox. Um, uh, yeah, and, and amazing. I don't know. Incredible sense of smell. And then they had the, uh, the elephants, the big ears to keep them cooler, I believe. Um, and all the other animals we spoke about. And humans, you know, how we're adapted. To where we live and how we build things around what makes us comfortable yeah you know if we have heat to control the temperature to make it comfortable we have shelter to protect ourselves from the weather um and of course if we educate ourselves we can have very very good futures for sure so that was what this was all about uh, like i said it wasn't just biology we did talk about biology a bit the lungs and gills of of fish and mammals mm -hmm. But we talked a lot about features, the horns, the burrows, the gills, the how some animals camouflage themselves, the trunk, how that's so different. Don't see too many animals with a big trunk on the front of their face. <laughs> the tusks, the horns, the predators and prey, omnivores, herbivores, carnivores. Yeah. So that was an interesting little lesson on all kinds of different habitats and how animals have adapted adaptations, right, to their environments. Absolutely. So it was a good class. I hope you guys won't all be so late next week. Oh, my God. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, Are you late uh, next week? You'll wet this week? You'll be late this week? Uh, yes. <laughs> Why? Um, my computer. It will be not late. It's lag. It lags. Uh, I don't believe late. you. Because once you get on, you're fine. 
I don't believe you. Mm. I think you're eating dinner. No. <laughs> All right, Alien, Jason, Glory, Dudley, good job. We Hold learned on. a bunch of new words, got lots of practice, lots of working on our listening skills and comprehension and reading and a yeah, little yeah. bit of everything. So it's all good. Okay. okay. So we'll see all of you next. Well, some of you in reading, the rest of you next week. I'm in reading. Yeah, next, I, I'm next week. Next week, yes. See you next Thursday. Good night, everybody. Goodbye. Good night. Bye. Good night, guys. Happy New Year. Mm-hmm.